Oh, they're on. Bali the Krishna region. It's more on Anar Domsa. On Toshka Shah. Walcha Krishna. A chorus country session. I'm not the Krishna region in you. Chimpan Yahurapa. Ardini Kancher to her. Agal Tosin of Fajor Law. Portion at all. Ni Fajor Lee attacked in a servicia. Rector Hana. Not will not check the Nori. Er all. Not will on Lachna Vanda, Imashna Vanda Ella. Neil Sheshok Yart is cure. Salah at all in you on. When I first put forward the own initiative opinion on revitalisation of rural areas through smart villages, it was clear to see how we can use the huge resources of our villages to make life better for everybody who is living and working in our rural communities right across the European Union and to contribute to the European Commission initiative on smart villages. What it is very true to say is that rural areas are falling behind urban areas. And this gap is all the more worrying because it is still growing, partly because of the development of the big cities and capitals that have picked up pace. Meanwhile, our rural areas continue to struggle and to provide the infrastructure, employment and opportunities to retain our young people and to attract newcomers to our rural areas. At the same time, agricultural production is becoming concentrated in certain regions. The way the structural funds are currently being used makes those differences bigger. I hope that this European Commission initiative on EU smart action for smart villages is a first step towards targeted actions to support the revival of rural areas as sustainable places in which to live and to work. But this is not sufficient now. However, I regret the lack of ambition from the European Commission, which represents a compilation of pre-existing initiatives in line with the previous opinion adopted by the CAR. I propose expanding the notion to that of smart rural areas and incorporate the initiative into the European rural agenda. It is now clear that the first Cork Declaration has not fully met its objectives due to a lack of tangible commitments. The adoption of a rural agenda is essential to ensuring that the second Cork Declaration does not exist solely on paper. I come from a county in Ireland called Leitrim. Not many would have ever heard of Leitrim, but anyway, it does exist. And the IT services in our area is such that you can open the internet and you could make a cup of tea and you can go to the toilet or you could do whatever you want. And you just hope that it is open when you come back. I don't believe that that is a way to live in modern Europe. And this is why I highlight that more efforts should be made to guarantee the same high-speed telecommunications network capacity right across the EU as an indispensable precondition for the competitiveness and economic growth of our rural areas. And in accordance with the objectives set out in the 2020 Digital Agenda for Europe, I recommend stepping up efforts to develop high-speed internet in rural areas via accessible funding models which do not restrict the access of certain member states to funding for investment in broadband networks. As regions, we also need access to funding for investment in broadband network for small-scale projects. I also recommend improving training and the sharing of information on different possibilities using ICT in rural areas. In progressing this work, it is important that urban and rural, rural areas are not set against each other. And I mean not set against each other. Rather, there should be a strong interaction between both smart cities and smart rural areas, that both can support and reinforce the success of each other. Though must be given, thought must be given to the setting up of positive relations between rural and urban populations, and not only making the rural area service providers for urban areas. Finally, I consider that local and regional authorities should play a greater role in the talks on implementing a local and regional policy framework in relation to the initiative. Consider local and regional authorities ideally placed to perform the function 
of innovative brokers to help fully realise the potential of rural areas, and in some cases already do so in the form of development boards, enterprise offices and competitive tenders. I did attend the new thematic working group on smart, smart villages launched by the European Network for Rural Development, the first meeting of us, and we have the second meeting of us next Thursday the 7th, to promote the role of local and regional authorities in this initiative. My final call is to have a pan-European competition which will encourage all agencies to come together to develop smart village strategies. I believe that by cooperating and by exchanging of experience, we can move the agenda forward for the benefit of everybody and us all in our rural areas. Gur Amila Maihagot, Oak Dorot.